Hi. Come on in. Thank you. Thanks so much for having us. Oh, yeah. And thank you for saying yes to 63 questions. Well, of course. What did you think when I first asked you to do this? Well, I wasn't sure if I had 63 good answers, so we'll see. Well, you have a lot going on in here. Oh my gosh, so much mm. art. What was the first time you felt a connection with art? Oh man, uh, visual art. It was probably the late 80s. We were living in Los Angeles. I was in a coffee shop and there was a painting on the wall. I had to have it and that was the start. And who's your favorite artist? Oh man, a favorite artist is Mara Kalman. Is there an art form that you just don't get? Mm, well, let's see, yes. Opera. I mean, I respect it. I just don't have an emotional connection to it, you know? If you could only keep one piece of art from your giant collection here, what would it be? Oh, wow. Um, I, this one over here, World Firecrackers. That's uh, Gregory Blackstock. I love that piece. Mm. What was the last documentary that you watched? Um, oh, it was Tom Petty. It was about um, his album, The Making of Wildflowers. Super good. And what movie makes you sob? Oh. The deer hunter. Who commands the remote control at your house? <laughs> well, uh, considering I don't know how to use the remote control, Joe does. And what was your favorite TV show growing up? Oh, um, uh, that girl. Diamonds, daisies, snowflakes, that girl. What's your favorite album of all time? Oh, okay, in the moment right now, it would be Hijira, Joni Mitchell. And who's your favorite Beatle? Mm, George, as a kid. John as an adult. You want to see the deck? Ooh, yeah, I'd love to. Come on. Thanks. How long have you lived on Queen Anne? About 29 years. Ooh, and what is one thing you love about this neighborhood? I love uh, all the cool old stairwells. Oh, hey, Joe. Oh, hey, Rosie. Uh, are you a competitive person? Um, yes, but not because I want to win the game. I want to be good at the game. Do you so. have a nickname? I do, Hothead. <laughs> do you have an innie or an outie? Um, innie. What's your kryptonite? Bland indifference. What do you find most endearing about Joe? Ah, many things, but I think it's fundamentally he's a very kind person. What Thank about you. his most annoying trait? He doesn't do everything my way. Can I take a little? Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. It's kind of cold. Let's go in. Yeah. So when you were a kid, what did you think you wanted to be? Oh, man. I had no clue what I wanted to be until I was like, I don't know, 23 or something like that. What was your first job? Um, I worked at a Scandinavian bakery. Do you get stage fright? Oh. Mm. Yes. What was your most stressful professional experience? Oh, um, I interviewed Art Garfunkel on the stage of the Neptune Theater in front of a live audience. What's the best advice you ever got? Oh, um, my, oh I was living at home. It was after college. I was kind of depressed, had no direction. My parents basically said, we think it's time for you to move out. <laughs> and they were right. What is harder for you, starting or stopping? Oh, stopping. Did you think Art Zone with Nancy Guppy would last this long? I didn't think it wouldn't. So you have a reputation for being funny. Mm -hmm. Do you crack yourself up? I do. What's the last thing that cracked you up? Um, it was a text thread with my good friend Matt Olson. When was the last time a stranger recognized you? You know, I think it was uh, Main Street of Bo Edison. And where do you keep all your Emmys? <laughs> in a box on a rack in the garage. What did you have for breakfast today? I had cold pizza. What's your specialty in the kitchen? Ah, uh, coconut rice. Do you have a favorite spice? Yeah, cumin, and I hate parsley. What is your go-to snack? Potato chips. Favorite cocktail? Um, sparkling wine, i.e. champagne. Do you ever eat food that's expired? Of course. What is your most dreaded chore? Um, Vacuuming the couch. Oh. What was the last book you read? The last book, um, Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. And are you a morning person or a night owl? Morning. What time did you get up today? 4.40. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so what keeps you up at night? Uh, 
I'd say details about work. And what's your morning routine? Um, coffee, uh, puttering, and power walk. And is that your guitar over there? Oh, yeah. You want to hear a song? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, it's, it's what I'm working on. Ready? Okay. E, A, D, G. Oh, wow. Goes from there. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'd love to see your closet. Oh, okay. Yeah, right over in this corner. Cool. Fashion-wise, who would you like to emulate? Uh, Patti Smith. And how do you characterize your look? I think my look is mix and match. What do you prefer, getting new things or getting rid of old ones? Oh, there is merits in both of those things. Do you have a fashion regret? Yes. I got my hair cut really, really short, and then I dyed it a very odd shade of red. What are your favorite pair of shoes? Oh, uh, well, right now, it would be these blue suede shoes. And Ooh, what's the one. most you've ever paid for a pair of shoes? Um, I respectfully decline to answer that question on the grounds that it will most definitely incriminate me. Let's go. So, Nancy, mm -hmm. uh, what is the square root of 63 million? Oh, that's 57. Uh, do you have siblings? Yeah, an older sister. And in what way are you the classic baby of the family? Oh, I'm a really good powder. What was your most memorable gift as a kid? Sergeant Pepper record. What's the last thing you were wrong about? Mm. Oh, um, the distance between the side of my car and the pillar in the garage. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. What do you prefer, People Magazine or The New Yorker? Oh, New Yorker. Flat or sparkling? Flat. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Milk or dark chocolate? Milk. Pie or cake? Come on, cake. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Well, I actually think it's a cake break. Oh, well, okay. Let us uh, be on our merry way. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Want a bite? Uh, no, thanks. You sure? Yeah, I'm oh, good. Okay. Thank you, though. Bye, All guys. Right. Bye-bye. Catch Art Zone Friday nights at 8 and anytime online at seattlechannel.org slash artzone.